neither Papa Wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The Wolf Brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. She said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. So? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too.
<laughs> Diaz brothers. Always. So... Are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes... I feel that she's around, coming after me. It's scary. Dude, I bet she's having nightmares about you. Yeah, but she's still out there. Somewhere. Creeps me out. Without you, she has no power. We're all good. Hope so. Sean, are we criminals now? No way. We did exactly what we had to. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. I won't let them get us. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. No. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. <sighs> been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. Thanks to their mama wolf, the Wolf Brothers barely escaped from the Coyote Cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, Lied. A mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me. Who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story too. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay, then. So what happens next? Uh, they, they arrive in Mexico, but the country is rampaged by goblins. Together, the wolves and the unicorn manage to slay them and become heroes. The police forgives them, and all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. This place is too pretty. So incredible to see all those stars and planets up close. <laughs> it's like we're right there. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey! I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. God damn. That food was amazing. Thanks, Joanne. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun.
Yep. Still need our processed sugar in this hippie desert. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. I'm glad we had these. Not a fan of desert critters. My back hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. Every star looked the same until we used Karen's old guidebook. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. Pretty useless with the crazy moonlight we had. <laughs> but it scares the coyotes away. Activate flashlight. On the way. I'm glad we had these. Not a fan of desert critters. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But, if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. We'll see about that. <laughs> Very funny. Smart ass. <laughs> I'm kidding. This power is so cool. I love tie-dyeing stuff now. It's so nice and cool in the morning here. Then it gets so hot. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want.
Can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm. I can try. Ruff looks cool, but messy. Should I keep going? Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Jeez. Do I really look that evil? He looks more like a super villain. We better get out of here before that heat comes in. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? Dude, we don't have time to play. Come on, let's go. <sighs> okay, okay. I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. <laughs> yeah, these guys are real cool. Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? Amazing that anything can grow out here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well... Oh, uh, good question. Uh, where were we? She's, um, confused. Like, what do you mean? She's my mom. Well, you know, I mean... She hasn't seen you for years. Not sure she can deal with all of this at the same time. Huh. It must be weird for her. I hear you. <laughs> My 
my legs are gonna be like yours after all this hiking. Hey, you know who I'd see having a trailer out here? <laughs> who? <laughs> Brody. He'd love it. Like, he could have his own radio station and everything. Yeah, definitely. It would be so cool to have him around. <laughs> I miss Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. <sighs> there you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice, man. <laughs>